Uh, and this is how the buyers are thinking, all right? So this is uh, somewhere along in, in, in people's lives, they, they decide, uh, these are private buyers, these are not businesses, they buy other businesses, but a private buyer wakes up one morning and says, look, it could be a good idea to buy the business. I, like, <laughs> for those of you that are in business, they think, look, I want a freedom, I want to enjoy, I want to call my own uh, uh, shots, I want to work my own times, and then they buy a business and realize it doesn't work that way. But that's why they, they, they do wake up and, and decide to, to buy the business to actually improve their life. But they're not sure if the business, buying a business is the right thing for them. So they start a bit, a bit of a market research and it's the first step in their journey. And with this market research, what they do, they start looking at the websites, businesses for sale, talking to people and start investigating businesses um, that, just to see what's out there, what's selling, how much is selling. And actually in that first stage, they got no idea what business they want to buy. And in many cases, maybe they decide to go and buy a childcare and end up buying a bookstore, right? Through the process, whole process will help them actually crystallize what they're looking for. And then they find the business and say, oh, this business, this could be the business that I'm looking for. So they do a little bit more investigation. So they go and meet the owner. They, 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 they get a little bit familiar with the operations of the business. And they'll do that with quite a few businesses before they go, wow, look, we got a business. This could be the business I'm looking for. I could buy this business. And they put the offer. And what often happens is people, uh, the offer is submitted to, to seller and he said, well, I've got a done deal. And you can see that you're about one third of the way to the end. So then we accept that offer and then we start negotiating. Now, this is interesting point. Fastest, first thing that's always agreed on is the price. There's about, we got a list of 27 most important points, but how many points need to be agreed? It's probably infinite number. And you need to agree uh, how the stock's gonna be valued. You need to agree um, w w what restraint of trade is going to be uh, uh, applied to transaction. You need to agree of what type of uh, uh, handover period you're going to give to people and the list goes on. So we do this negotiation and let's say we negotiated on all the parts and they put a deposit and then they start in the due diligence. So what happens here until then they were on their own. They didn't involve their accountant, they didn't involve their lawyer. They didn't involve anybody into this process because it's costly and they, they do this many times over. Now they bring their lawyer, now they bring their accountant, now they bring their mother, sister, father, probably about seven people into this process. And you almost have to go through each time through sell and through negotiation with the, every time with a new person comes uh, uh, into the process. And if you complete this due diligence uh, correctly and agree on the terms of the contract on the end, you're gonna have purchase and then takeover still stands. So you may not gonna even get all the money on the day of the settlement. But I wanted just to illustrate this to you from the buyer's point of view, how the process works and what you need to think about when you're selling business.